teaches us that the environment is our teacher spiritualism understanding of the world around us cognition mind perception towards the external facets teach us that we need to learn from everywhere and everybody around us concepts like perception personality learning are the sole heart of the subject matter of behavioral science without an open mindset we cannot build our personality neither can we build our perception hence to respond to the dynamic needs of times one needs to be clean clear optimistic positive to allow free flow of knowledge from outside to to create a better individual in the real sense of the term so this first point which i wanted to deliver is there is a heart to heart linkage between the basic concepts of management science and spiritualism heart to heart linkage with the concepts of personality perception motivation learning the pyramids of behavioral science and spiritualism so it's not that the subject is complete and we can go away without getting into the nitty gritties of what building the self speaks about the second point i would like to deliver is there is a heart to heart linkage between the element of personal management and business ethics and spiritualism too we all know we do not speak of personal management today we speak of human resource management this human resource management today functions regarding personnel in your organizations and human resource development talks about building the individual building the individual element the human factor the individual psyche now this exercise of building the human element comes in two parts one is building the external self or the outer body or the outer expression which talks in terms of your ksa development knowledge skills and abilities and the second one is building your inner self the spirit the soul which talks about another a attitudes which is internal but which is often expressed in terms of our expressions now when we talk about building the individual self we talk about training through ksa development exercises as well as development by means of self development attitudinal restructuring or which we commonly call behavioral modification so my second point wanted to talk about that creation of an ethical mindset for action planning requires spiritualism so hrd requires spiritualism manpower development in terms of human element development and enhancement requires spiritualism of all the functions in the organization finance hr marketing productions systems etc we know that without human hands nothing can move and who directs the human hand the human mind and hence if that is not taken care of if that is not well taken care of in terms of treating it with with proper respect dignity and honor giving it the food and fodder that it wants no business can run smoothly and what is the food and fodder it is the essence of spiritualism my third point i would want to focus on is that spiritualism is true a concept which may be practiced for business development but it's not an end it is not an end it is rather a means to an end what do i mean by this term means to an end it is a pathway towards some ultimate goal it's pathway in the sense it helps the business achieve what it wants to achieve what it should achieve it talks about development accountability reasoning resp responsibility but in the moral connotation going back to our class 10 textbooks we need to reopen them and learn about moral science which speaks of moral development which speaks of moral reasoning 
it speaks of moral responsibility moral accountability I should be accountable to what I'm supposed to do morally who else can be the best monitor to myself other than me so spiritualism has to be something within yourself a guiding force in this connection going back to Freud he talks about ig, id, ego and superego id is what we feel like doing at a given point in time ego allows or disallows us, us to do it and superego gives us a value judgment to it doing this is good or doing this is bad so who can monitor not my teacher neither my mother or father nor my son nor anybody on earth but me so let me train me in the lines of spiritualism it is not an extra exercise it is just a belief a faith an understanding a way of life that draws you towards the best way of doing things not only professionally but of course also familially finally I would like to say that our systems our organizations are basically a tri unit system consisting of an input mechanism a processing unit and an output same goes for an individual we are an input processing unit as well as an output I come here from Kolkata I leave my regular teaching job as well as my administration as Dean there because I want to go gain something I want to learn something I want to go beyond the four walls somebody talked about uh, look uh, beyond when you leap that means you open up you open your windows I want you to come here to learn more about you know these issues of spiritualism and ethics so that I can extend my subject matter the walls of my subject matter OB and HR that is my input and how I perceive this seminar how I perceive the speakers how I perceive the endeavor of this Institute if I'm fatigued by the journey how do I perceive that it all talks about my processing unit my cognition my mind my understanding my individuality my self and that self should be fed with spiritualism and ethics so that I feel correctly I breathe correctly I speak correctly because I would be able to understand correctly and those elements of breathing feeling and responding to what I see is the output if each of us feel this way if each of us gather knowledge from the outer world in terms of input start perceptions on the basis of spiritualism to do what is right to understand properly what is right output can never be evil output can never be suboptimal so let all of us strive together not to work hard but to work smart and work proper through the strides of spiritualism and business ethics With, without much of uh, deliberations I would want to allow a little more time for my for the speakers here so that they can get to you know talk to you and let you know about what they have written down thank you and